Hello everyone, in this video we are going to try to explore Grok3 a little bit in terms of coding and programming. We will try to activate the Think option to simply generate code. So it should be noted that Grok3 today does not provide API access coming to leverage its coding capabilities on other code editors. And of course other tools that will help us use the power of Grok in programming. But what we are going to do is try to work on programming here and then export the code to test it and see a little bit what it looks like or if it is capable of providing superior quality. To start the video I wanted to show you some previews on Dr. XCOM. There are a lot of people I've met whose your posts I've encountered uh, on XCOM. You will see that for example this person in less than 24 hours and they're rather simply actually set up a game on development. So with Grok, uh, you have to see that there are a lot of people today who are actually trying to create, there you go, games with Grok 3 and uh, honestly the quality, thus we really try to search and we find very beautiful creations like this one. In fact a 2D game actually with stages like Super Mario and all. And the internet, especially that social network, there are a lot of people who have posted. You just have to type GameGroji3 and you will see that many people are making games directly with this tool. And um, obviously the design aspect we can see is very present and the speed and quality of the code generation is really very interesting. Uh, for me, I just wanted to try to actually recreate some games that are already available today. On the internet, we have games in fact that have made racing games, car games, adventure games, I wanted to take a very simple game, which is Pac-Man. There is a person, in fact, who made this game. So, there you have it. It's a Pac-Man that was generated with just a few plants with Grog. I actually set it up. Well, I did quite a few tests. In fact, to have several designs. And in the end, actually, I was able to see the game in a very, very interesting way. Look here, for example, I have the score section here. I have the life section here. So it gives me three lives. In fact, and if I click here, we'll take a look at how it works. There you go. It's really very, very interesting. You will see that, of course, the mode level and the difficulty, I can change it. And this is a game that was actually written with simple prompts on Grog3. And it's a work that was done with JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. So in this video, we'll try to see how I wrote this game. I will even show you how we can put it online, so actually host it on the internet. And there you go, share it with friends and people. Don't forget that there is a possibility, in fact, to make games that are much, much more complex, more developed. I just wanted to take this as an example to see a little bit of the creative capacity. In fact, the prompts on Grog 3. Uh, so before continuing the video on YouTube, I wanted to introduce myself for those who don't know me. So I am Dr. Firas. I am a doctor in artificial intelligence and today I am a popular instructor on the Udemy platform. So on Udemy I create courses in several categories. There are those in artificial intelligence and others in digital marketing. And today I am proud to be an instructor in fact who is popular on this platform. You will find that I have more than 50,000 people who have purchased my courses, including 6,144 positive reviews. So most of the courses have the badge, bestseller, and today, to actually thank my subscribers on YouTube, I have wall gathered all, all these courses into a single link where you can access to have access to all these courses. I will leave you the link to these courses also comes with a special code for my community on YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. I publish almost daily free tutorials on YouTube about artificial intelligence and digital marketing. So I thank you very much and enjoy the training. So now I, I see the game. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go here. Notice that when I am on XCOM, so I have this button here that growls three actually, which is present here, where I can ask it to create something for me. I can actually ask it questions. When I clicked here, it will analyze this article a little bit. It will explain to me that, well, uh, Pac-Man, in fact, was used with the P5.js technology, a JavaScript library, which is well known in coding. So for me, I will simply ask it here to shout for me. Prompt, in fact, uh, everything. 
10 game. So here I want it to create for me. In fact, a print where I will be able to create simply, or we might say of these same games. And there, so I would put between two points and I would actually put the name of the game. In fact, there you go. It's simply a Pac-Man. There you go. And I will simply send it this print. So what it will do, you will see that there, here in fact, it will simply uh, create this print for me. So this is the print. So there, I will select all of that. I will copy it. And I will simply go to the website grok.com and there I will click on paste and obviously I will activate this thing here. Okay. There is also the possibility to add attachments if I want. In fact, the design, in fact, the same design. That means this design here. So if I go back for this design, I can simply take a screenshot here. So here we will try to take a screenshot. So here I am taking a screenshot of this area. So it can capture the design. In fact, and I come back here and there you will see that I can add my screenshot. So I click and upload it here quite simply. So I click on select file or I just take the image and SEO add it here. There you go. So now it has the screenshot that I just created and I simply have the option to send this code. So what will happen is that it will simply, of course, switch to thinking mode. It will take about 60 seconds to explain its plan, its operating mechanism, and afterwards it will throw the codes at me. So you should know that when it sends the code, it usually sends it on a single page. But for me, it's very interesting to separate the bus, the pages, into a standalone HTML page, a standalone JavaScript page, or YAN and a standalone CSS page. It's very interesting if I simply want to improve the well-developed code later on. It will be very, very good to separate the new technologies, all different technologies. It will be very interesting to separate them apart and, of course, to actually test the result today on Croc. We don't have a console to test, so we will either need to download this code locally to test it locally since it's HTML. We don't need an online server, or we can simply use websites that can execute HTML in real time online and so we can simply see the test so for me i will let it finish that to have there you go simply the codes once i have the codes i will show you how we will deploy them how to, uh, and there you go it has actually finished the programming so it gives me some notes regarding the use of this game and of course if i request how long it actually took to create this code so if i go up here about 123 seconds roughly two minutes um so after the reflection, it sent this code. So the code is actually HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I will tell it here, I need three files. So there, I will need three files. So why three files? So there, I will actually let it rework that into three files. Because quite simply, we are going to use the site, which is editorsp5js.org. On this site, I will actually place the content in HTML. I will place the content in JavaScript and the content in CSS, and then I will press play to simply have the work displayed here. Of course, there are several websites. You can also use this site, which is a site where you can test your code in real time, livewave.com. So this one also allows you to simply test your codes. And exactly here, you will have a place to put the JavaScript, the CSS, the HTML, and then it will be executed here. So for me, to make it simpler, I prefer to work with p5js.org. To test it, I go back to the code. So normally here, it is rewriting the code into three different files. I will receive the files here, and I will simply copy and paste them into PS5. And there you go. So now I have the three files that I copied and pasted. So here I have the HTML, the JavaScript, and the CSS. All that's left to do, you'll see that here I have the play button. So play, what will happen is it will simply execute all of this. And there you go, I have the result. I am actually testing it. So here I'm using my keyboard to navigate to simply escape the system. And you'll see that right away I have the game running correctly. I'm trying to escape. For example, there's an error here, you see. So sometimes with the manipulation, 
It doesn't work. I need to go up a little and move to the left. So maybe we can ask it to make improvements. Regarding that, improvements in design, movement, and also difficulties. I can ask it to create three difficulty modes to have a, a bit more challenge. In any case, this is the creation system with Girak, so I managed, let's say, to create this game. Now, how do we host the game? It's very simple. I have three files. I will need to download these three files. As you can see here, the ghosts are not intelligent. They are not trying to find Pac-Man in any way. Maybe I can request them to carefully direct their movement towards hunting this Pac-Man to go through walls, give them powers, because right now they move or change their movements if I change, but it's not focused enough on attacking. If I go towards them, that's where it gets stuck. In short, in terms of achieving game perfection, it's possible to do it. It's just a demonstration to show how we managed to program and develop this code. Now, to host it, I will need to have these files on my computer so that I can simply and easily upload it. And I can, of course, use an online website designed to host this kind of online game up for free. So I will simply use the site replit.com where I can create a free account. And then I can click here to actually create some online applications that can be hosted with their links. Actually, the site is also a code editor. So here I can start the creation, the port request for code. For the free version, it gives me the possibility to run some instances and of course to use some API models. But for me, imagine that my code is already ready with Grok, so I will simply deploy and host it. I click on new application. You will see that it has the mode to use the replica agent. It will uh, create the application for me from A to Z. I will simply need to click on choose template. So then it tells me here is your application, which mode or programming language do you want it to be and uh, what you see here. It, in fact, it has, it has, it supports several types of programming languages. I can choose PS5 if uh, you see here, or I can simply tell it that it's HTML. If I choose PS5 because it calls on JavaScript libraries that use graphics, if I says in is as they get. Once it's done, look here, that I have the possibility to host three applications for free. And so here it asks me if I want it to be public or private. I leave them public so that anyone can simply access them. Here I will simply call it Pac-Man, as you can see here. So there, I call it Pac-Man and I simply click on create the application. So it will create this application. And all I have to do is simply upload my different files into it. So here I simply have access to set up and add my JavaScript files. That's why here I go back and I will click on the JavaScript section and I will select all these files as you can see. So here we select this file. I will simply paste uh, my code here. So here, of course, I have the option to download the file and I have the option to format the format. Focus on formatting essentials of this extension if I need it. And for me, what interests me is to click here to simply create a new file. So we will click on create file as you can see here and we will name this file index.html. So here we are at ready. So as it exists, we're simply going to go into our existing file which is this one. So we're simply going to erase this and replace it with this one with the content that exists here in this HTML. So I copy it and then I come and paste the entire file. But be careful here. The file bonsoir, I actually have the possibility to rename this file to JavaScript. If I want, I can either give it another name like here where it is called sketch. So we can use the same name or simply replace it with JavaScript. Here it's rather script. Here it's called script. In any case, both ways are correct. So we'll do it like this. It's simpler. There you go. So now we've called it script. And of course, I have the CSS style part. This one too, we need to paste the code it has. So I copy and paste and paste this file. So as a result here, what do I have? I simply have the index mom, which is correct. The JavaScript, the CSS. So as a result, my system is ready to be sent. 
First, to test it, to run it, to see a little bit what the file looks like, whether it works or not. In any case, we are sure that it works correctly. We just needed to test it here. To be 100% sure before launching it online. Here we go. We will click here on run so we can see a little bit if the system works or not. So we will take a look and there you go. It works very well. So I think we have no issues with that. Let's make it move, rotate the application. It works. So everything is fine. Hop, 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 hop. There you go. So to make it online now, you will see that here I have replit.dev. So if I click here, you will see that it will offer me, in fact, a complete URL and even with what we call a QR code so I can share it. So this link will simply be the link to my application. If I click here, you will see that there you go, the application. I can simply share this with friends so they can test it. So it's a link that remains valid. Of course, as long as I haven't deleted uh, the project from here. For those who want to have a completely personalized URL for their game, for their application because this is just a small demonstration but if you have really made a very advanced game a very beautiful game as we have seen there are people who make games of very very high quality uh, at that point if you spend a lot of time creating your project it's possible to click here on deploy as you can see and there it will ask you to host it directly and to use the hosting system on reddit it's not free that's a normal fact that's why they ask you to switch to a pro mode. They offer you several types of servers. Here I can take the static server. It is more than sufficient. This server roughly costs around $25 per month, but it allows you to host multiple projects. It's not just one project, it's multiple projects. So it's very interesting for people who are creating multiple applications, multiple sites, multiple games, and who want to have a very fast deployment system because deployment is just one button. You click here and deploy them automatically with your online URL. And that is really very, very good. Even if we have games with applications that have databases, that too is done in a fairly assisted, quick and simple manner. So there you go. We have seen the creation of a game created 100% with Grog3. And also we did the deployment, the actual testing of that game. And you understood that Grog3 has a really, very, very impressive coding power. So, honestly, I want to, I am actually curious to create a 2D Super Mario game from A to Z with Grog3. So, of course, there will be several steps to reach the final result. If you are interested, when we make a video about the game, Super Mario, that I show you, the steps from A to Z in their creation, just write Super Mario in the comments, and we will have fun together, creating a game that looks like that, but with a much more advanced design with the Super Mario game like the good old days. You write in the comments, Super Mario. If many of you request it, I promise I will create a video for that. And there you go. We have reached the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you want to support me, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can continue creating free videos on YouTube. And if you want to join my community, Udimi, if you want to have more advanced, more detailed training with more examples and practical workshops, I have put on my website the BT two pack the first one it simply contains all my training in artificial intelligence automation and our codes and the second one is a complete pack it contains approximately a thousand hours of training you will even find digital marketing inside don't forget to simply use the code i created especially for my youtube community it's a code that is yt20 this one will simply give you a discount of 20% on these packages, be careful, it's a code that is only valid for my YouTube subscribers. Thank you very much and see you soon.